Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? It is Thursday night. Yay! Alright, just let me get this set up here. Where's my love? My love, my love, my love. Okay, change my post. Get y'all up here. How is it going? How's your week going, everyone? Okay. Alright, so that is set. Ready to go. Hey, Deb. Hey, Cindy. How are you guys? Pull up my stuff here. What's up? Hey, Mary Ellen. Hey, Lou. How is everyone doing? <clears throat> yes, I'm finally, I think, I think I turned the corner, so we will see. <laughs> we will see. I don't know. Oops. I thought I turned that off. Hold on. Let me make sure that's off so we don't hear stuff. There we go. Oh, it's my iPad. Sorry. <clears throat> yes, I finally, I think, oh, wait, where did I just turn it on? I think I turned the corner. There we'll we go. see. <laughs> All right, goodness gracious. Okay, sorry guys. Gotta turn this iPad down. So that way we don't hear the clink, clink, clink. Hey Debbie, how are you? All right, so tonight we are going to, I'm feeling good, Pat, thank you. We're gonna make a fall wreath. Have some stuff picked out. I think I'm gonna use this sign. Hey Pat, but we'll see, I have a couple more. Oh, you are? Cool. So, we're going to, I only put, um, hey Robin, oh, there's my two sisters, Pat and Robin. I think I'm only going to do, I did six on the top and six on the bottom. Hey Bev, hey Cindy, hey, Robin Bortz is my sister, everyone say hi to Robin. Hey Molly. All right. I think I'm going to do 12, and then, hey Sherry, hey Molly, and then I have this burlap from Walmart, the unwired stuff that I think I'm going to put on top of that, so let's go ahead and get started. This is that um, jute mesh. I cut it to about 15 inches, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to gather it at about 5 inches, okay, can everybody see that? We're going to put it in one of the bottom ones. Okay, I'm going to take this end and do about five inches. And when you do this, you want to make sure that the opening is on the bottom. And twist it in. Okay, and then you're going to take and open this poof up. Okay. There we go. Okay, then we're going to add another one. And some of these are really tight. There's the ones that were on the bottom. So we will just continue doing it that way. <clears throat> and then what we'll do is we'll actually take the previous one and we will open it up and stick it right on top of there. Okay, and this is called the poof curl method. All right. So again, we're going to take about four or five inches and scrunch it up. And then twist it in there, okay? And then we're just going to open up that poof, okay? I don't do this technique very often, so... All right, so you can see it's got the curls and the poofs. That's why it's called the poof curl method. So we're just going to keep going around that way. Like I said, you want that edge to be on the bottom. <clears throat> hey, Dora, how are you? Thank you for blessing my page. Yes, if you all could please bless my page, it would be much appreciated. So then you end up with two curls at each tie. <laughs> yeah, Pat, I haven't done this method in a really long time. So, 
I don't know. I just kind of felt like doing it. I was like, you know, I had I usually do the, you know, the, uh, hey, Nikki, how are you? The, um, you know, just the poof or just the ruffle or something like that. But I'm throwing you a curveball. Thank you, Mary Ellen. And the ones that are really tight curl, those are towards the end of your, um, the end of your roll. So you kind of want to use them on the bottom row, at least I do. Hey, Carla, how are you? So again, I'm going to untwist that, put the other next one on top of that one, then twist it in good. Okay. <laughs> you haven't learned the other ones yet. <laughs> you will, Pat. You will. Okay. Then measure it about four to five inches. Thank you, Deb. And put this one in. And you just want to twist it once because you are going to open it back up. Kind of push that curl up to the top and then open up that poof. <laughs> well, there you go, Mel. Good. And how did you make out? I hope you did okay. Again, we're going to take it about four or five inches. want to make sure the folded edge is on the bottom. And then I just untwist that one. Hey, Connie. Hey, Georgie Lee. Nope, I'm using a frame that I made. You guys know how I always use my own, you know, frames that I make. But I just put six on the bottom and six on the top. I put in the inner row, I Antoinette, I put one on each of the crossbars and then I just put one in between the um, crossbars, like right in the middle, in the third row. Hey, Johnny Lynn, how are you? Okay, so then you have the poofs and the curls, and then you just want to open them up. Okay. And we're just going to keep, hey, Annette, how's it going? We're going to keep going around the same way. These are cut, this is 21 inch mesh, and I cut it to about 15 inches. You can cut them, you know, anywhere from 12 to 15 inches. Just when you cut them, like I cut them 15 to give my poofs a little more poofiness. Absolutely not, Nikki. You're welcome to just watch anytime. Okay, all right. Move that curl up and then go about four to five inches again. No problem. And untwist that. I don't, you guys know, I don't, you know, a lot of times undo my twist ties, but for this method, I do. Okay, we're going to bring our curl up here. Oh, you did? You changed to fall? I know, that's work, isn't it, Johnny Lynn? Whew. Hey, Melanie, how's it going? Okay. All right. So then that's the bottom row. Okay, kind of doesn't look like much right now, but we're going to fill in the top row. And then we're going to add some burlap on top of it. And like I said, it's just the burlap from Walmart. It's not wired or anything. All right, and we're going to move to the top row. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay. About four inches. And pinch it together. <clears throat> okay. And then just open up that poof. And this method, hey Sandy, it does not use a lot of mesh, so you're only using 12 pieces, so you can probably get um, two wreaths out of each roll if you cut it to like around 12, you know, to 14 inches, something like this. These are some mesh I had left over from a, um, 
a wreath I had made, so I was like, let me use up the, no, not yet. I just had the blood work done on Tuesday, so I don't know if I'll hear this week or maybe, you know, not till next week. Hey, Phyllis, welcome from Arizona. Okay, I'm going to kind of bring those curls up here. Open up the poofs. Hi, Linda, this is the poof curl method. Okay, so what you do is you cut your 21 inch mesh. Hey, Bridget. Um, you cut your 21 inch mesh to um, anywhere between 12 to 15 inches. Hey, Sharon from New York. And then you just roll it, you keep it rolled up. And then about four or five inches in, you make a little curl. And then I'm gonna untie that. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Sandy. Okay, so you have your little curls, and then again, you do the same thing about four or five inches in. Doesn't have to be perfect. And go to the next tie and twist that in once because you're going to open it back up. Okay, so you see how much fuller that's looking with doing that second row? So, like I said, you can get probably, you know, at least two wreaths um, using this method. Okay, so I am, like I said, I just untwist. I don't normally untwist my ties, but for this method I do. Okay, get my curl up. About four inches or so. Almost on the top. Yep, this is a 14 inch wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. Yep. And then open up that poof. Okay. Yep, so I just put, um, I always like to use the Dollar Tree frames. I don't know, it's just something I started doing and I really like doing it that way. So I don't really use a lot of work frames. You know, it's everyone's preference as to how they want to do it. I just like this way. Okay. One more after this. Yeah, if you don't receive my alerts, make sure you type in live. Or also, not yet, Sandy, I'm still waiting. Hopefully by the end of the week I'll hear something. Hopefully. Um, but when you're on this live up on the upper right hand corner, because mini chat from what I hear is going to go away or not cooperate with Facebook. So I want to make sure you guys continue to get my alerts. So make sure when you're on the live, you see on the upper right hand corner, there's three little dots. Make sure, Hey Carla, you drop that down and hit get notified. And then there's a little bell there. Make sure you drop that down and set that to all notifications so that you guys get my looks. Getting hot up in here. To put my little fan on. Hey Carla. Yeah, I just like to make my own and you can that way you can put your own colors on. You don't have to worry about, you know, finding every different color under the sun. You just have to have different color pipe cleaners. Hey Dawn. So that's just me. All right, so that's the poof curl method. Isn't that pretty? Hey, Sharon. And it is nice and full, but what I thought we would do, I cut these to 10 inches. This is just the burlap you buy from Walmart. It's not wired. So I took these and cut these to 10 inches, and then I'm going to make a little ruffle out of it. I'm gonna put one in each section and then kind of spread it out like it's a little flower see like that okay just to add a little punch of color so we're going to do that in each one hey Harless how are you 
Okay, so we're just going to go around the frame. And I cut these to 10 inches. Put one in each of the sections. How's your store coming, Carla? Rita's whipping you into shape, huh? I look pale tonight? Oh, who knows? <clears throat> okay. Again, you just kind of make a little, like, kind of looks like a little flower looking thing. Just for something different. Hey, Lucy, how are you? Okay. I just thought it would add a little bit of color to it. Okay, just a touch. <laughs> you almost done with everything, Carla? It's a lot of work. You have a lot of stuff. Hey, Cindy, how are you? <clears throat> you will have to excuse me. My voice is still going in and out, but hopefully. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Okay. So again, I'm just overlapping, overlapping the edges a little bit to kind of make it look like that little flower. signs I was thinking about using. Um, oh good Carla. Yeah it's a cute method. So we'll see what I end up what sign I actually end up putting on but I was thinking about that black one because I really like the colors in it. But we will um, we'll try it and see what we think. Okay so this is the last one on the bottom. Yeah, this is called the poof curl method. You can do the poof ruffle method, um, which you do the little ruffles on the end instead of the curls. Oh. <laughs> all right, so I have one on um, all of the twist ties on the bottom. So now we're going to go around the top and do the same thing. Am I frozen? I look like I'm frozen on my computer. Ugh. You guys. I don't know what it is, but hopefully. Alright. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it won't. Um. Did it cut off for a second? or I don't know what went on. I had to, I had to go back out and come back in. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know whether it's here or... Oh, well. We'll get through it. You know, if I get kicked off again, I'll come back on. <clears throat> well, I'm going to add ribbon yet, Reba. So we're not, we're not done yet. going to add, you know, ribbon to it and a couple other things. So, well, ribbon. <clears throat> and maybe some leaves. Have some leaves. Oh, good. Must just be here. Must just be here. So again, these, this is just the, um, burlap from Walmart. It's cut to 10 inches and I'm doing the little ruffle with it. Uh, yep, it's about, I think it's like five and a half, six inches, yep. But Walmart, you know, usually has a bunch of colors. Let me see. Yeah, it's about five and a half inches. Well, it's not mesh, it's burlap. Oh, I forgot to put my live. Hey, Carla, are you still on here? 
Can you share my live to Lori's group? I forgot to do that. If you're on here, please, if you guys would spread the love and for me, I would appreciate it. Um, this came from Michael. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was raining this morning. I don't know if it's supposed to rain or not. Who knows? It doesn't look like it out there. Okay. Yes, if you guys could spread the love for me, I would be much appreciated. Oh, thanks, Lori. I didn't even see you on here. <laughs> I usually put it on your page and I forgot. <clears throat> okay, so last one here. All right. Okay. All right, so that's what that looks like. Looks pretty with that. All right, so this is the sign. So you see how it's picking up the orange out of there? Um, and I have a couple other signs I was thinking about using, but I don't know. I don't know which one I want to use this time. I have this one. I have our patch. I have, let me see, or this one. Which one do you guys want to use? I'll leave it up to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what do you think? I don't think that one. But either the Happy Pumpkin Spice Season Welcome to our patch or pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. Which one do you think? Our patch. We have one vote for our patch. I know, me too. Pumpkin kisses. One vote for that. The first one. <laughs> this is going to be a tough one. These are all available in my Etsy shop, by the way, if anybody is interested in any of these signs. The pumpkin kisses. Kisses, pumpkin patch, pumpkin spice, our pat. Oh, it's getting. Oh boy, I think the kisses one is winning. Black one. I know that's what that's the original one I was going to use was the black one. Pumpkin kisses, our patch. Hmm. Okay, well these are the ribbons I picked out. Maybe this will help you decide. I have the green, the burnt orange, the orange, our patch. <laughs> the that one and these two. And I think they'll go with any of the signs. Uh oh. I know, that's why I did the, I like the black one because I thought it would really pop on this one. Uh-oh. You don't like the dark background of the sign? Hey, Nicole. Oh, awesome, yay! All right, well, this is gonna be tough. All right. I don't know how many votes we have. Can someone count the votes and see which one? Like, I like all of them, but then again, that's why I bought them. <laughs> um, hmm, our patch, the spice. Yeah, the colors of the of the uh, of the spice one. Yeah. Well, really, I mean, I think any of the um, ribbons go with any of the signs. The spice with those ribbons. Happy pumpkin spice. No black. <laughs> the dark sign pops better. Oh, you guys. I know it's such a hard decision. All right, let's put the um, let's put the ribbons on and then we'll go from there. I know it's so hard. I know it is. It's such a hard decision. Okay, so. 
And I, what I'm going to do, I don't think I'm going to, I don't know. I think I'm going to not use that one. Okay, and I think I'm going to use the orange with this. In fact, I might use orange with that one too. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so these are cut to about 12 inches. Okay, fold them in half and then gather it together and then stick it in there. Well, I was kind of debating because if I thought if we use the one with the, um, I know, right? If we use the one with the leaves, I have leaves and stuff I could put on or, oh, let me show you this, whoops. I could do, which this one's too small, but this one's way too small. But this is what I was thinking, is putting the one with the leaves on top, which like I said, that's way too small. I'll have to cut it, you know, but I don't want it too much bigger than that. Or I have, and then I have some leaves I was thinking about putting on. You know, here and there. Hmm, I think that gold goes. All right. All right. I think I'm going to go with that. I am going to go with that. Okay. And then what I think I'm going to do? I don't know that I'm going to use this green. I think I'm going to use the orange. Or, let's try this. You guys, hey Denise, welcome. Glad you're here. Hey Sandra. I'm going to try these three and then maybe alternate every other one with that one. think I like that the three the three colors like that and then the next one I'll use through this three I think which I'm gonna have to cut more but that's okay and then just alternate the three of them and then, I don't think I'm going to use the leaf one on top. I don't know. I can't decide. Boy, I'm very indecisive tonight, you guys. <laughs> All right. Have fun, Carla. Thanks for stopping by. Now I'm having a hard time then I'm deciding. Oops. Whoops. Our patch has the, has the most? Okay. I just pulled that right out of there. You know, sometimes like you have all kinds of things running through your brain. Like, you want to try this? Do you want to try that? I don't know. I can't decide. I like those two different plaids like that. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right. Oops, wrong one. <clears throat> and I probably will have to cut some more of the green because I only cut six of them. Yeah, we're glad you're here, Denise. Glad you found me. You don't like the black sign. Yeah, everyone has their own taste, that's for sure. And that's okay. Okay. I like that 
orange behind there. That really adds a nice little pop of color. Okay, now we're on this one. You know the orange for the burlap? Cut six more of these real quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Whoops, don't fall on me now. I usually use my um, perfect tails to do this, but I'm just going to do it real quick. And that's just it, too. Like, all of this will go. No, this isn't a pancake one. This is a regular one. I did the poof curl method. Whoops. I did the um, poof curl method, and then I did... Um, the little burlap on top of the with the rubble method. There we go. You guys, if you don't have these linens, if you're a wreath maker and you don't have these linens, you need to get them because they are so versatile. They come in all kinds of colors. I carry them in my shop. You know, there's fall, there's spring colors, there's Christmas colors, but these are a great staple item, the solids, that you should have in your um, ribbon collection. It's a good go-to ribbon that, um, you know, goes with a lot of stuff. And it's just a really, really nice, yeah, a really nice ribbon. So it's perfect. I mean, I have this in like every single color. I have it in the regular orange, the burnt orange, the burgundy, the red, the yellow, the lime, the green, the moss green, um, t like a tan, yellow, mustard yellow, all kinds of colors. No, they're not real stiff. It's a really nice, it's just, oh, I don't know how to explain it. It's a really nice linen ribbon. They're just, they go with everything. And that's why I keep them in my store because I try to, um, you know, keep them for every season because they are, they're just a go-to ribbon. Yeah, Bev, congratulations! That's awesome! That one's a little too long for me. Everyone, congratulations! It is, Lucy. It's it's so nice to work with. And it just... It's just a really... Now, why did I only have... I thought I cut six of those. One, two, three... Four, five. Did I miss one? You guys. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I know I cut six of them. What? That is exciting. Hey, Peggy. Welcome back from your trip. Peggy's daughter got married. That is awesome, Bev. Congratulations. <clears throat> All right, so we have one on every row on the bottom and now we're going to put them on the top guys I just had a thought I just had a thought I think I have one open one of those okay and we're gonna pull this one down here this one up here that is awesome. There's nothing like selling your product, right, Bev? You get a great feeling when you do that. Hey, Cheryl, how's it going, girl? <clears throat> Excuse me. Get a good drink, you guys. Okay. Oh, nice love sunflower wreaths. I have to make one. I 
Oh, good for you, Lucy. Oh, Carmel. You know what? I'm so frustrated with mini chat. So here's the deal. Mini chat and Facebook do not want to play nice together. So if you see on the top of your live when you're watching, on the top right hand corner, there's three little dots. Click on that and let me see. Let's see what it does. When you click on that, it comes down and it'll say turn on not live notifications make sure you have that turned on and the little bell there make sure you do all get notified whenever they go live so when and if mini chat decides to stop working you will still get notifications when I go live so please make sure you guys do that because they say that that's going to happen in um, July so I want to make sure you guys are still getting my alerts, so please go and do that so you don't miss me and I don't miss you. So that way, oh awesome Cheryl, that is so quick. I think I just, I don't even know, was it Monday I shipped them, Monday or Tuesday? And post oh no problem but yeah so make sure you guys do that on my page so you continue to get notifications because I am going to try to do a um, email campaign where I get your guys emails so I can email once I get my website set up um, I'm working on a website right now so I'm hoping that that's going to be up very soon I have a meeting with the web designer tomorrow, tomorrow morning, hopefully that'll work out. So um, hopefully we'll get the website up and running. Because I don't know, it's crazy. What did I do with that? I wanted to grab something because I think I'm going to add something else to this. <coughs> You get notified through Facebook Messenger. Okay. Yeah, uh, it just, um, I don't know. That's why I said make sure you're signed up on Facebook for the notifications because that way you will get a notification when I go live if at least you're signed up for those. Oop, put the green first. Yeah, because Minichat and Facebook have not been playing nice lately. And from what I understand, hey Barbara, they're going to stop playing altogether. So once that happens, then I won't be able to send out that um, notification through Minichat. Yes, I am, Annette. Mm hmm. Everyone. Oh, good, Judy! And I'm just alternating that back ribbon just to kind of give it a little, um, a coupon code. A coupon code for what, Carla? The only coupon code is if, in your, if you're in my group. Um, my group members get a discount. But other than that, um, there is no discount code. Just for my clubbies, my group members, my groupies. They get first dibs at everything and they get um, a discount. This is a 14 inch wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. Now I wanted to show you guys something else. Depending on what sign we decide to go with. Okay, so we may incorporate this into it. 
Now, do you guys know what this is? Do you know what it is? Ooh. This is a great tip for you guys. You know, it's in the fall, we tend to add a, like raffia to our wreaths, right? So, this, I want to see if you guys can take a guess what it is. It is, Carla. It's just, it depends like how far away you are from me, um, you know, as to how much shipping would be. Okay, so. Oh boy, Lou. What kind of mesh did you order from Hobby Lobby? Woo! All right. Yes, this is one of those grass, whoops, one of those grass skirts from the Dollar Tree. Now, what I love about this is you get so much on one of these grass skirts, okay? Now, when you buy that raffia, number one, it's expensive. And number two, there's not that much on it. So, buy this from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a huge pack. I think I used this all last year, and look, I still have that much left. I still have that much left. It's crazy. So, go with this. If you're going to use raffia, go with that instead of the, um, the other, because honestly, it's so much better. All right. So, let's see. I think, oh, man, I can't decide. Yes, that's a great tip. I think we're going to either use one of these two. I'm going to go with this one. <clears throat> all right, I'm going with this one. So what I, what you do is all you have to do is they're, um, they're like folded over in here, okay? So all I do is I take it and I un... Yep, those shops are all available in my Etsy shop. I only have a couple of each of them. Okay, so you're gonna take it and unfold it from there, right? Okay, so then you have this long piece, and then I just take it and fold it in half, and then fold it in half again, and then again, okay? And then I'm going to put it into each of our twist ties. And then I'm going to cut the raffia. Okay. Like that. Alright, so see how it adds another little layer of texture. Now I also have pumpkin. Since we're using the pumpkin, you can add right in. Okay. And get my glue gun out here. Okay. Alright, so while my glue gun is heating up, we will continue on with the raffia. And really, that's all you do. I know, I'm telling you, it, and you get so much more off of this than you do, um, Whoops, one of those, um, you know, things of raffia. And this one's not cooperating. There we go. Okay. So again, I just take it, fold it in half, in half again, in half again. Yes, it is. It's a mess. It's a total mess, that raffia stuff. And this really isn't. Yeah, as long, you know, Hobby Lobby, their jute mesh isn't bad, but I wouldn't go for their regular mesh. I made that mistake when I was first wreathing as well. And I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to take our pumpkins, once my glue gun heats up. Oh yeah, they do smell nasty, don't they? Ooh, they do, they smell nasty. Okay, I'm open this up. 
I know. I'm telling you, they have and they have them out now. They have these school hula skirts out now. So now's the time to go and get them. Okay. So, and these pumpkins are all different sizes, which is fine. Okay, you don't have to have them all the same size. Then what I do is I take my, where's my ice pick? Where's my ice pick at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I think so too. Hey, the best kind of mesh, well, anything but Hobby Lobby. Hey, pros. Hey, Janice. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these twist ties and I'm going to twist them real good to make sure everything's in there good and then cut them off. And then I'm going to leave one sticking out like that. Can you guys see that? Then what I do is I take my, um, this is just an ice pick, kind of put a hole right in there. You don't want to go all the way through. Then what I do is I take my glue gun and I just shoot that hole full of glue without gluing yourself. And then stick that pumpkin right in the middle. See, look how cute that is. Okay, and again, it just adds another little texture, a little, another little layer. So cut that off, tuck one under. I'm going to use a yellow one this time and just poke through. You want to make sure you don't go all the way through to the end. Okay, fill that with glue and then I just put it right on top of that um, zip tie and it sticks right there. And that's all there is to it. So you just keep going around. No problem. Now, you can probably cut this off. It would probably be easier so we don't just sit in here. Um, the little pumpkins I got at a wholesale place um, last week. Okay, so fold it in half and half again. Tuck it into our ties here. Okay, you want to make sure that's on there nice and good. And then cut the ends. You don't want to leave those ends folded because you kind of want them to go all over the place. All right, and then spread out that raffia. Susie Brown! Hey, girlfriend! How are you? You bought Neighbor's Mesh from us. Oh my goodness, that's awesome! That's amazing, Debbie. Okay, again, I'm just taking and putting a little hole in. You want to make sure you don't go all the way through to the top. Put that you know, little glue on there. And then... I know, Susie! I've missed you, girl! Okay, and then just put that right in there. And we'll have to go back and fluff our ribbons again and all that fun stuff because, you know, they all get crushed. How are you? Everyone say hi to Susie Brown. She's the inventor of our wonderful mesh roller over here. She's a hard-working woman. She is cranking those babies out. If you do not have one of these mesh rollers, you need one. Let me tell you. I don't know what I did without it. You know, the mesh was all over the ground, all over the place. It was a mess. Okay. So again, like I said, I'm going to spread this raffia or the grass skirt out a little bit so that, um, you know, it looks kind of nice. Okay, we're going to take another orange one here. And these, like, like I said, these are all shapes and sizes. They don't have to be all uniformed. Let's put a dab of glue there. And like I said, I put it right on top of that so that the hole that I made will go right into that pipe cleaner and that helps to really hold it in there. I know, right Linda? Absolutely, you have to have it. It is a must. Okay, again just take it, fold it in half, fold it in half again, 
and then pop it right in there. So see all the different colors and textures? It really makes it pop and um, I love that I used to use PVC with pipe lunch. <laughs> yes, you are. You are a pro, Susie. I mean, when I say Susie makes them, she has been making them herself, hands down. Okay. Then we need another yellow one. And I'll tell you, I use this ice pick all the time for stuff like this. It's great. You should be proud of yourself, girl. Not getting glue on yourself. Okay. One more on top here. Fold it in half. Just fold it in half again. I mean, you can leave it longer. You can leave it shorter. Whatever length you want it. Hey, Mary. Oh, girl. I have an affiliate link if you all want to get a mesh roller. Whoops. I will post it in here for you. See, I'm just spreading that out so that it's really nice and spread around there. Cutting that one off. I'm just leaving a little bit. So like I said, so that pumpkin can kind of sit in there. <laughs> well, you know what? It's like anything else. It's like anything else, Susie. This too shall pass. And you're not only making it through, you are rocking it, girl. All right, so let me get, so that's there. Let me um, get my affiliate link to the mesh roller because you guys, you really do need one. Okay, stuff everywhere. That's my affiliate link for the mesh roller. But look, isn't that pretty how it just adds that that um, raffia or grass skirt, our little cheat, um, just adds that just the right amount of color onto there. Just kind of brightens it up a little bit. Oh, good. Awesome. I know you will be so happy when that happens. All right, so now we're just going to do the same thing on the bottom row. Tuck that raffia in. Twist it real good so that it doesn't come out. Cut the edges. Then spread. I know, isn't it cute? Then spread the raffia around. And then again, make sure you twist that so it stays on there good. I know. You know what? I have a bunch of signs here. I might change out the sign. Oh, no problem, Lucy. You do what you have to do. You take care of yourself. All right, so we're going to use one of these big ones. Oh, where did my ice pick go? Oh, awesome. Thank you, Rhonda. Again, I'm just sticking that through. You want to be careful you don't go all the way through. I, well, you know what? I don't have a scarecrow. I have this, um, look at this little, I have this little witch. We could put her on there. Or I'll pull out the signs once I get done and I'll show you guys. <laughs> we'll probably just switch everything around. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I like that. How everything's really coming together. Did 
can, like I said, spread that raffia out so it kind of makes like a little... Oh, I love my mesh roller. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, that one didn't hook on there very good. Hmm. Let me put that in there well enough. Let me do that again. I'm telling you, these grass skirts are amazing. And they go a long, long way. They really do. It's amazing how um, far one of these skirts goes. And with fall coming up, you know, you use this stuff, at least I do, use this stuff a lot. And I did. I saw them at Dollar Tree because I bought a bunch of them last year. So I still have a bunch left. So, oh, um, I got it from the dollar store, Luann. I got it from the dollar store. Yep. Casey! Hey, girlfriend! Alright, so, just going on. So, Casey, can you guess what I'm using here? Okay, so again, you're going to take it, fold it in half, fold it in half again. Okay, make yourself a little bundle. Now, if you want more, you can you can add two sections of it. But, um, whoops, I lost the comments for some reason. Oh, my word, where'd the comments go? I lost your comments, guys, so I'm going to go back out and come back in. See why? Oh why? Oh why? <laughs> this has been a crazy one. Ay ay ay! Nope, not straw. Don't tell her, guys. Yes! <laughs> ding 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 ding! You win, Casey. Why is that not? can't see your comments for some reason. Let me try commenting real quick. Uh, I lost your comments. Yeah, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, I can't see any comments. Let me get my, um, oh, Luann, alerts are my nemesis, I think. Let me bring my, um, iPad up, because for some reason now I can't see your, um, your comments. Wacko, wacko, wacko. <laughs> it's like whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole. Um, this is the mesh roller. It holds your mesh or ribbon when you are cutting mat when you're cutting your mesh or you're cutting your ribbon. Um, it's awesome because usually you know you just have to throw your mesh on the floor and then. Um, you know, it would get all yucky and dirty and, all right, where's my lab? Here we are. Okay, so hopefully I can see your comments on this. Hi, Paula, because for some reason now I can't see her. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Ay, 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 mama. I don't know why all of a sudden on my computer I do not see any comments, so I apologize if I'm missing any. Hey, Janet, thank you. Okay, so again, I'm just spreading out that raffia. I'm going to use one of these. And then, oh, I'm still fighting with them about my phone. Oh, why can't I see anything? Now the comments went away on there. I apologize if I missed your comments because now they're just coming up on my Mevo stream and not on my computer or my iPad. Oh, wait, now I see them again. Um, yeah, I'm still fighting with them about my phone because they um, they don't know what's wrong with it. I'm like, well, now this is my third phone doing the same thing, and I don't know. So we will see where I end up. Okay. We have a couple more to go here. You do. Susie, you get so much off of this. 
I think I use this all all last season and I I mean I'm still working off the same one so again I'm sorry if I miss your comments because they're only coming through on my Mevo feed and they're really teeny teeny tiny so once you get that on there all I do is I just cut the folds We don't have them rounded there. And then I just spread them out to kind of make it look like a little, you know, so it's all over. Okay. I know, right? It's a great idea. And I think they work just as well, I think better, than the raffia. fingers now okay we're getting there we're getting there because you figure I mean I don't know how many pieces are on this rapia skirt but you only need 12 pieces when you do it like this I'm only using 12 of the pieces now if you want to you can cut it before you put it on just in case you drop it then you don't have rapia all over the place Again, I apologize if I cannot see, oops, if I cannot see your comments. Um, yeah, I saw them in the green. I don't know, I don't know. I'm kind of leery about buying them in the green. I haven't bought any in the green. I'm just kind of like, hmm, I don't know. How, I'm sure in some applications it was work for the green. I've just kind of always stuck with the natural for that. But you can definitely, yeah, they definitely have it in the green. That's right, the green would look good for Christmas. Yep. And one thing about the raffia, I mean, it's supposed to be wild, right? Nope, I don't spray them with anything. Nope. For the most part, you know, everything. Um should be pretty much waterproof or water resistant yeah the green if it was like a different green maybe but it's a I don't know maybe but I bet it would work you know in the right wreath it would definitely work it's one of the yellow ones oh this is our last one okay last whoops need to get my glue on before I finish this. I don't have glue all over my hand. But you could definitely, you know, do this same thing if um, someone had asked me about, you know, a pancake. This is not, but you could definitely use the pancake method with this. And, um, you know, without a problem. Okay, now... We totally switched from where we first started. Let me see what sign I'm going to use because I have lots of choices. Okay, now I have. Boy, now we're really going to throw a wrench into everything. I have just this little pumpkin. I have this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. have all these. I have these. Okay. Um, I forget what it's called. It's just a little caddy. Um, so, yes or no for the pumpkin? What do you think? Okay, so we have the pumpkin. 
Then I have this little, no, I don't like that mat. Definitely not that one. Which these are in my Etsy shop too, but aren't they cute? Okay. Then I have this little cute little just um, good harvest sign. And let's see what else I have. I have oh I have this little pumpkin. Ooh, I like this one. Wait a minute. Or that little pumpkin. Um let's see. Okay. Not this. That's mm, no. I want that in there. Okay, so these are our choices now, you guys. I'm really throwing one on you here. So we have pumpkin, yes or no? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Or no? We have that. We have pumpkins locally grown. I'm kind of liking that. The other. This one. The little good harvest sign. The truck. Someone said the truck. Harvest. Or I think that's. Hmm. No pumpkin. Yeah, I don't like that pumpkin one either. I think it's uh, they're not the right color. I mean that one would work. But mm, it's, this doesn't go with that. You guys, I have so many signs all over the place here. Ooh, okay. So, do you guys vote for this one or this one? No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait. I have more. That one. Oh, my stars! Oh, my stars! Look how cute that one is in that. Hmm. Like that one. Guys, I have signs everywhere. So, never fear. I know I have a sign somewhere that we like. That we use. Hmm. Okay, thanks. No. Okay. I think or the bigger one. Okay, so you think that little sign or the pumpkins locally grown? The good harvest? That's perfect from there. You guys, I have so many signs that we can choose from. Literally. But I'm not going to pull them all down. I'll be here all night pulling signs. <laughs> okay, too big. This one? All right. I think we're going to, what do you think? That one? The little one says good harvest. This little one that says good harvest. Yeah. Well, this one could go too. Because then this way, oh, I wish, Marie. Um, that the sign really stands out on that one. Good harvest. All right, we're going with this one. We're going with this one. This was in my Etsy shop too. I don't know if I still have any left. Yeah, the one with the truck really stands out. Um, but I think this is just, it's just, you know, it's a little dainty, but it lets the wreath really speak for itself. All right, so let me cut these off. Okay, so it already has the two holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little, um, the raffia came from the Dollar Tree. It is actually, um, okay, and cut two more holes in here. Okay. 
Yep, it's a it's a, the raffia is actually a grass skirt. Hey Dawn, how are you? Okay, so I did two more holes. And we're going to take some of this wire. Whoops. Throwing my tools all tools all over the place. I'm gonna cut a couple of pieces here. Yeah, it's so weird how my comments just kind of disappeared. So I apologize if I'm missing any of your comments. Please spread the love for me if you guys would. I'd much appreciate it. Now we could add a bow too, but I think it's just going to take away from the wreath, to be honest. I um, I don't want to take away from all the pretty pumpkins and ribbon and stuff. Oh, have fun doing your laundry, Lou. i got to do that tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? I know I love these colors of fall. Yeah, I think, you guys know, I do bows, but I don't do them a lot because I think a lot of times it really just takes away from um, the wreath. And I don't think it needs it. So, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Oh, I gotta do that tomorrow, laundry. Okay, so now, like I said, we're gonna have to fix all these ribbon tails because they'd be all over the place. I'm gonna put that right there, and then I'm just gonna feed this through the mesh and everything. Yeah, oh, I love the signs. Now, those are good for grapevine wreaths and that kind of stuff, so. Um, but I don't want to hide everything I did here because it's just so stinking cute. Now I don't want the sign to be pulled down into the mesh either. So when I attach the sign, I try to get it at least two crossbars and you don't want to pull it down into the um, wreath. You want it to sit on top, nice and pretty. And I'm not going to tighten these all the way because I want to make sure of how I want it. <clears throat> yep, I don't think so either, Lucy. Thanks, guys. And I'm just kind of feeding this through the mesh, trying to find that crossbar. I want my mesh to kind of be underneath it to kind of help that sign sit up. I don't want the sign pulled down into the wreath. So you don't want to really tug on that. You want to kind of leave it so it's sitting on top. And then I'm just going to... And that sign is not going to go anywhere. on do not disturb. I don't know why that call came through. Sorry about that guys. Okay, so again I'm just doing it around the crossbar so that why is that not <clears throat> Okay. Wait one more. Finish that up there. Alright, I think we 
are done. You see how that's not, it's not pulled into the sign. It's sitting up there nice. We have our pumpkins here. And we'll just kind of go through and fix the ribbons, the raffia. Because everything kind of gets smashed as you're working on it, so you kind of want to fix it all up. Get it all the way you want it. Get your ribbons looking nice. That raffia spread out. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Hello. Again, I'm, I apologize if I'm missing any of your comments because I cannot see them all. Because for some reason they stopped showing up. Okay. Okay. What do you think, guys? I think it turned out really cute. And you see how the light color of the raffia just really makes everything else pop. Yeah, pretty much. I'm pretty much done with summer. On to fall. Yes, it's tw uh, 20. You cut your mesh to 20 inches. Yep. Okay, guys. That is it for me. I know, it just makes them, makes all the little pumpkins pop. Makes the raffia pop out there. <laughs> I know, right? But I, I just love this, this grass skirt idea. It just really makes it all pop. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. We kind of went all kinds of different places around with it and changed our minds and all kinds of stuff. So don't forget to um, turn on the notifications for my live. So when mini chat stops working, you guys can still know. But I usually go on every Monday and Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, there are some exceptions, but those are my standard nights. And then I do my group Tuesday nights. So if you're interested in the group, let me know. And this one will be available in my Etsy shop either later tonight or tomorrow. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All righty. Take care. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you guys Monday night. Thanks, guys. Bye.